Something I've always wanted to do in Seven Days to Die in video creation is to make a video in which I cut out all of the fluff. And what I mean by that is all of the busy work, the walking from A to B, the opening, the closing of the things, the time it takes to actually craft things. Pretty much everything that goes into making a standard Let's Play, I completely cut out. Didn't even do a live commentary while I was recording this. So I created a brand new world in Navisgain, left all the settings to default. Now on default, a normal, a normal time frame from the time you spawn in until 2200 hours when everything starts running and quote unquote nighttime, it, it comes out to a right about 40 minutes of recorded time. So I took that 40 minutes, cut out all of the fluff in which I wasn't doing anything, and managed to get it down to about a five minute video. That took a, an incredibly long amount of time to edit out all of the fluff. Don't look so good. Yeah, thanks, I appreciate that. So yes, this isn't a live commentary. This is me just playing a normal day if I was playing by myself, just going through doing the basic level quest, doing some basic crafting, leveling up a couple times, making my way into Dyersville and looting a couple houses, and just having a good fun time with it just to see what it would be like. I know this is vastly different than anything I've ever done on this channel, and as far as I know, nobody else has done this. When we're doing editing of these videos, we all have our own style. We all bring our own personality into how we edit. I've edited the videos the same way since my Minecraft days. You know, a few tweaks here and there as I got better at doing some things. But typically I've always done the, you know, if I have to like really beat on something, chop down a tree, a rock or whatever like that, I'll cut out the, the first and the last hit, put them together so it looks like just one hit. Saves a whole lot of time on the editing process and the video, it cuts down time. So I thought, what would it be like if I made an entire video of cutting out all of that middle part where it's only just the action stuff and to see what you guys would think about it. And here we have it, the finished product. So this is pretty much all it's going to be. Just kind of want to see what you guys would think about a video like this. I don't know if I would ever do another one like this. It kind of just depends on how well this one does. If you do enjoy the video and you want to see more like this, you can do let me know. You know, leave likes on the video, comment, stuff like that. I'd love to hear you guys take on trying something different. I believe, as far as I know, that we are getting closer to Alpha 20 coming along. Now, we don't have a definitive date. Anybody who says, yes, it's going to be this date or whatever like that doesn't know because we don't know yet. We have no idea what the date is. They initially said that they were hoping before Thanksgiving, which is in, what, two and a half weeks? So... I promise that as soon as you guys, or as soon as I know when Alpha 20 is coming out, everybody will know because all of us creators within the stream group that have access to information about what's going on, we will be telling all of you. And I'm really excited about it. I've seen a lot of things in Alpha 20 that look like it could be a really cool change to the game. Now, I had discussed before something that I might end up trying to do as far as the series goes. First off, I'm going to wait until Alpha 20 hits stable because I want to make sure that I don't end up with a broken world like I did in Lone Survivor. That kind of sucked. It made it really hard to continue on with the series without having any kinds of problems. And so I really want to make sure there's a stable. So I'll do my normal, you know, preview video and showing off the new stuff there and test out some of the new mechanics they put in the game or, you know, some of the new things they've changed up. I will definitely do some testing videos and, of course, things that you suggest you want to see differently, you know, see what's changed or whatever. I always take you guys' suggestions to heart when I'm testing out these kinds of videos. But other than that, I think what I may try to do when it comes to as far as another Let's Play series is I think I'm probably going to do a non-specifically modded, but I think what I want to try, because I never have is to um, get Kane to enable the part of the Romero mod, basically, where instead of having a Blood Moon Horde every seven days or every ten days or whatever you want to change it to, it removes the Blood Moon Horde entirely, and it makes it so that a Horde can show up anytime, anywhere. I know Josh did a series on this a little while back, and I think he called it Anytime, Anywhere. And it just... It makes a little bit more of like a standard zombie survival movie from back in the day where, you know, you may turn the corner and ta-da, there's an entire horde there you have to deal with versus, okay, well, I've got two more days to try and work on a base now. So I haven't nailed that down yet. I do want to go back to just regular gameplay as far as um, vanilla, as far as the rest of the game goes. I'm having a blast with um, Darkness Falls, but I, I kind of miss being able to play in just some of the basic regular stuff. So anyway, coming up on the very end of this day here, we made it inside the basement of this second house here in Dyersville and managed to get a pretty good little setup here in our house. 
So yeah, there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're not already so don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, I'll talk to you later.